and we're good. Good evening, everyone. Joe Carollo again at Carollo's Corner at itsallaboutscores.com. I got uh, episode 10 tonight, Mike, of the Mike Wilson Show. Mike, uh, say hello to everybody. Hello, everyone. <laughs> I love how you always say that. Very <laughs> hey, very short to the point. Let's very, very short and to the point, exactly. Uh, Mike, final week of the regular season coming up. Woodbury on deck. I want to go over that Glassboro game first. Uh, I want to say, I you know, I watched the game doing a highlight. That was a phenomenal team you played. Correct. Let me tell you, they were good. You guys fought gallantly. You made plays. You hung with them. You took their best shots. I, I want to say, you never want to hear this after a loss, but nice job. I like the way you battled them. It was. Oh, I, I appreciate it. I thought the kids' effort was very good Friday night. Yeah. I'm just, you know, you got to give the devil their due sometime. That team was good. Yes, correct. Uh, give them their due. Uh, any thoughts on that game well, before we move on to Woodbury? Well, I mean, again, uh, losing is unacceptable. I mean, so no moral victories or anything like that. But, mm -hmm. I mean, we fought hard. The kids played 48 minutes. We gave we gave them best shot, and you, make, you, fit, you fix your mistakes and you move on. I mean, but, again, the kids played very hard Friday night. Yeah, so you got Woodbury coming in Friday night. Um, not one of the best years they're having. Uh, however, I saw them a couple weeks ago against Willenboro. They're not bad. They can move the ball. They're they're really. I think they're a little better than what their record indicates. What could you tell them if, from a UC? You probably scouted them better than I have. Uh, very athletic on offense. I mean, they got playmakers. Uh, very good receiver. Very good running back. They got a sophomore quarterback who throws the ball uh, quite well for a young man. Um, again, they're going to come in. They're fighting for playoff seating. We're fighting for playoff seating. So I don't expect anything but their best shot. Yeah, have uh, you seen them live yet by any chance, or just? Uh, I'm not got a chance to see you live, but yeah, yeah, I think like you said, I think they're better than what the record shows. Yeah. And again, they're three and four. They're looking to get 500 before the playoffs. And again, I mean, with their strength of schedule, it's a big win for them. Yeah, they're three and four, and I'm looking at it. They have a UPR of 10.2. Uh, your UPR is 5.4. Um, what do you? Uh, so how do you guys match up against this Woodbury team? What's their? Uh, what, what do you? What do both of you need to do to beat each other? Uh, I think, I mean, I sound like a broken record every week, but it, I mean, <laughs> so do I. Uh, but it comes down to we got to limit their big plays. We got to move the football. We got to punch the football into the end zone. Um, but we do those things, we'll be okay. I mean, we just got to limit their big plays. They got some big playmakers over there. Right. So, you know, look at looking ahead a week. I know you hate to do this, but it's it's time. <laughs> you, can't avoid yeah. this. you can't avoid this anymore. I'm looking at the playoff brackets here uh, for South Jersey Group 1 in particular. Yes. You guys, okay. You guys are at fifth. However, you might be able to answer this question with a UPR of five four. Paulsboro is four. Sure is four. Now, normally, because you beat Paulsboro, the four and five would would switch. It would swap. You before they'd be five. Paulsboro, however, is tied with Shore Regional with the UPR. How does that work? Do you have any idea? Uh, from what I understand, the rules: if you're tied in the UPR first, so they go top down. So they right. go Glassboro, Woodstown, Shore, Paulsboro. Paulsboro would jump Shore because their OSI, their or their opponent strength index is higher than Shore's. Okay, so then you guys are stuck at fifth. Then, if that is all the case, if it was, if it playoffs ended before this week, yes, Paulsboro would go to four to three. Would go to three actually. So Shore would be four. Correct. They would jump. They would jump Shore. Oh, uh, okay. I it goes top wondering. down. So like we would have jumped Paulsboro. It's top down. Paulsboro would jump Shore first. Right, but being there jumping shore first, you do not get that the luxury of the tiebreaker with them. Correct. It's only if you're um next to each other. Well, you are next to each other, but you're not next to each other is what you're saying. Yeah, because they go top down. Oh, okay. And you, you're you're positive about this because I haven't I've been yeah, on this I read the rules and regulations this week. Yeah, it's been my it's been on my to-do list. So in other yeah. words, they shore regional would drop to four, you'd be dropped to five if today was the end. Correct. Okay. If, yeah, we, we, we would be at five. Yeah, I mean, who do you think? Uh, looking at some the playoff opponents, who do you, who do, who who do you think you're going to get in the first round? I mean, it's a toss up. I'm just looking for your best guess here. Uh, no idea, Joe. I, I mean, I'm sure if you ask my assistants, they're running every scenario in their head. But I'm just worried about Woodbury because I think we go in, we take care of business, we play good football, we beat a good Woodbury team. Um, we'll move up. I would hope. Yeah, it's very possible. Again, and it's tough to tell because th this UPR is not. This whole thing is not a, really a transparent system. And it's tough to uh, really figure out what's going on like it was years ago. We discussed that, no sense in uh, yes. getting into that. And I'm looking at Shore Regional. I don't know anything about them. I know they're in West Long Ranch. They play a below average Asbury Park team this week. They should win as well. 
uh, it's it's tough to say. Yeah, it's tough to say. So then all you can do is control. Just win the games in front of you and then yeah. play whoever they match up with next week. Exactly. But let's say, uh, you know, I talked to a lot of coaches. They want to always play somebody different. Anybody you'd want to play just because you never played them before? Not that, okay, you're ducking I, I, somebody. I mean, yes. I mean, I I mean, I do not I do not like rematches. I'd rather not play somebody we've already played. Absolutely. Um, that type of stuff. So anybody, I mean, who's ever down there? New Egypt, Mainville. I mean, I don't know. There's a bunch of short conference teams. So, like. Somebody we haven't seen before. Yeah. Um, I'm looking but, here. I'm trying to, I'm looking at 10 down. Okay. You had nine down. We'll go to Burlington City, Woodbury. You can, God, you can get Woodbury two weeks in a row. <laughs> correct. It could happen. That now, that the only thing worse than playing somebody twice is playing them two weeks in a row. Yeah. Dino, don't remind me. Yeah. And it, it's an, it's at a disadvantage to the winning team. I, I, I wish they would do something about that, but they, but I guess, you know, People will be accusing the powers that be of favoritism. Them, I guess everybody falls where they're going to fall. Uh, yeah, I've been through it before. I, it's not fun. Yeah, it's not. It's not. It's just. A, it's a bad situation. Kind of boring as well. You want. You want to play somebody new. You have Pennsville, New Egypt, Manville, Clayton, Audubon, and Pensgrove over the next group. Then on the outside looking in is interesting. You have four teams with winning. Right. You have. Well, Clayton. As a winning record, Audubon and Pensgrove, two and four, one and seven, respectively. Kip Cooper is out of the playoffs as of right now. At five and three, you have Highland Park, four and three. Pittman, five and one, with a one point loss as their only loss. And Point Beach at four and three. These four teams are out of the playoffs right now. Yes. They yeah. could potentially, yeah, they could potentially be an opponent for you. It all depends. If you go up to three and one of these guys move to 14, you can't, you're right. You can't speculate. It's, it's fun to think about. But there, there's so much. Correct. Yeah. Uh, any of these other games around South Jersey got your attention this week? No, I mean, again, I mean, I think we're all, I think all the coaches are playing the math game, trying to figure out matchups, get film. Yeah. Um, but you know, it just comes down to is we got to take care of Woodbury Friday night. Again, I think you're correct. The record is not indicative of how good they are. Um, good skills, good quarterback, um, solid defense. It's going to be a good game Friday night. Yeah, I again when I seen them against Willingboro, uh, it was they were actually ahead. Willingboro is pretty good. I got a lot of respect for that program. They've right. they haven't been talked about in the last five years. They have like what, three sectional championships, five sectional championship appearances, and they're still pretty good this year. Maybe a little step back, and I mean a little, not much yes, at all. I agree. Woodbury had the lead. Willingboro would tied it up. It was very very even, and then I think in the third quarter the wheels came off the bus for Woodbury. However, in the fourth quarter they started making a comeback. It was one bad quarter. It was really a good game, but that bad quarter was bad, and it killed them. But, yeah, this is a team that uh, much better than a record indicates. A lot of tradition there. Their program's in the right direction right now. They're going to bring it Friday night. I know you are, too. Um, as far as other games go Friday night, outside of Group 1, anything got your attention? Nothing. Not really. I mean, honestly, I mean, i just been nose to the grind with Woodbury preparation and trying to think what we got to do to win Friday night. Right. Well, I got yeah. Millville. Yeah, Millville in the prep should probably be actually main. good. Yeah, I didn't know they were playing, but that sounds like a main event. Mainland hosting, excuse me, mainland traveling to Delcy. I heard Sal's back on the sideline at Delcy. That's what I heard. And uh, yeah, they're looking better. No coincidence there. Yes. Uh, that that should be a good game. You have Shawnee and Hamilton, which looked like a great game at the beginning of the year. I'm not so much digging it right now. Uh, let me see. You had, a, you had a couple other ones. I'm, I don't remember offhand. There were. In the short conference, you have Tom's River South and Central, which is going to have huge, uh, oh, that's a huge game. Play playoff implications for Group Four. Um, can get into that, you know, later. It's what Central does, it's going to turn the Apple Card upset on. However, my favorite upset the Apple Card game this week is Cedar Creek and Ocean City. Ooh, everything in Group, good. everything in Group Three from seed number, I'd say, <laughs> from seed four to nine is going to depend on that game. Yes. That's why you could determine a group of three, take a guess who's going to be where. That game is going to have such a such an impact on what's going to happen. And it, it, you have no idea. No idea. You have the uh, Salem County Bowl. I know it's uh, Pensgrove and Salem. Yes. You're familiar with that, which is actually, to me, Mike, one of the best rivalries that I've seen in this area because it's yeah. – I think because they're two small schools, they don't get the attention some of the bigger schools get. I've seen some great games with those two. This year, yes. the sad part is one team's one and seven, one's zero and eight. However, I'll go after it. Be a good. It's a good rivalry game. Yeah, I think there's going to be a great game at exit four 
on uh, Saturday afternoon. No, I completely agree. Yeah, the, uh, you know, unfortunately, the record and don't replicate that. And um, you know, a lot of times these games have playoff implications. This one won't, but. If you're a football fan and you like rivalries, definitely should be a good well, one. Well, I mean, it does have playoff implications because oh, you are now Pens. beholden to people's residual power points, and somebody wins, their strength index goes up, so yours does. Right. I meant for them personally. They don't. Yeah, I mean, like, yeah, I know, has, uh, yeah, not for them personally, but it does. I mean, like, that's the problem. Like, it, it's it's contingent on so many different things. Yeah, I'm trying to see if there's what other games uh, interesting for this weekend. Second here. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. Anything offhand that you remember? Oh, how wait a minute. How could we forget? How could we end this without the group one bowl so far? Woodstown and Glassboro. Oh, that's good. Yeah, I mean, whoever wins that's the one seed. I was going to say that's going to determine. That's going to determine the number one seed. I don't think the loser should drop any further than two. I don't think. I don't think it's possible. Well, you know what? It's not because even if they did, let's say we jumped up, hypothetically speaking, they would win the head to head. They both went head to head, yeah. Now, how would well, they? I think one, two, however you want to slice it. And they're both one seeds in their brackets. I mean, look, would Shore Regional drop? You know what? Okay, Shore has the UPR of four. Woodstown is three. If Woodstown loses, could they drop to three? I don't know because sixty percent are OSI, so I don't know. And even if they did, they're in the same bracket. They just would have to travel to Shore if they played each other. This is very complicated. You have a uh, another one tomorrow night. Huge group one implications. Paulsboro at Clayton. Last uh, tomorrow night? Yeah. Good Another game. one. It, it should have a lot because uh, Paulsboro is just jockeying for position up at the top there. You know, maybe around a four seed, three seed we discussed. Yeah. Uh, Clayton's trying to get in. And they're not bad. They're four, two, and one. The program has steadily gotten better over the years. Should be a real good one. Yeah, it's a playoff before the playoffs, Joe. That's where we're at. Yes, this is it. This is what uh, we talk about. Playing games, man, like in the NBA. Yeah, yeah. Before playoffs. (laughs) Yeah. Well, next week, uh, Mike, we're going to know who your opponent is, and we'll discuss them at great length. We'll also go over uh, the Woodbury game and some other upcoming playoff matchups, whoever they may be. I won't even try to speculate anymore. Uh, We can't. We'll talk next week. (laughs) Yes, we will. All right, Mike, great talking. Thanks for coming on the show. Uh, I want to say goodnight to everyone from Carollo's Corner at itsallaboutscores.com. We will see you next week for Episode 11 of the Mike Wilson Show. Thanks, Joe. Thanks, guys. Talk to you next week. Bye, everybody. Bye, bye.